Next one, also an Orbit title, also Urban Fantasy. Yes, very, very good series. Benedict Jucker's uh, Alex Vera series. Um, first book was Fated. Uh, this is book two. Um, these are lacquer, and lacquer is a South African slang word for. And I say South African slang word because a lot of our different cultures use the word. It's an Afrikaans term. Um, very nice, very good. That's the kind of thing it means. Um, it's a lacquer urban fantasy. Um, it's a. Uh, the main character, Alex, has got a very interesting magical ability. Um, and he's, uh, he's quite a dry guy. Um, he doesn't like being in the spotlight. He doesn't like um, anybody showing him, you know, attention that he can't control kind of thing. Um, very cool character. Um, uh, constantly irritated by his customers and you'll have a good laugh when you when you figure that out and you read the books. Um, it's got a very cool apprentice, which rocks up in, in book one. So minor spoiler, yes, she becomes the apprentice. Don't worry about it, you'll still dig it. Um, he's got some very, very cool uh, non-human characters. Um, not like elves and fairies and stuff. This is, this is way beyond, much better. Uh, I think too many people are doing elves and fairies and that kind of thing, you know. Um, non-human is supposed to be non-human in my view um, so give this a read uh, very very cool books very cool mythology that he's building world building is excellent um, and uh, creepy in the right places the action is very cool the magic is very interesting um, and the way that the main character Alex does his thing is also very very cool so give this a read next up this was a surprise um, I've been a Michael Crichton fan since I read Jurassic Park, the novel, about three times in um, a news agent that was very close to my mom's work. I read it like three times in the store before I watched the movie and uh, blew me away completely. Um, I've read most of Michael's work. Uh, he has passed away, in case you didn't know that, a long time ago. Uh, in fact, the day that Obama won the first term of his presidency, Obama passed away. Ooh, Crichton passed away. Whoops! NSA, I'm so sorry, I did not mean that as a threat. Uh, Michael Crichton passed away on the first day of Obama's first term, when he was inaugurated. Um, or when he was, no, he wasn't even inaugurated, he was, it was announced that he had won the presidency. Alright. Anyway, uh, this is a hard case crime novel. Zero cool. Uh, Michael wrote this book under the name John Lang, um, which I can understand. This is completely different to the stuff that we know uh, that uh, we know and enjoy from Michael Crichton. But trust me when I say you'll dig this. This is this has uh, got like a. Now I'm 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 actually quite young. I'm only 33, so I didn't watch TV in like the 60s and the 70s. I wasn't born yet, um, but this has got a very fun kind of uh, sarcastic uh, kick in the pants kind of feel. Um, in this book, the main character, um, through no fault of his own, absolutely, um, is pulled into something epically life endangering, life endangering. Um, and there are beautiful girls, there are gunfights, there are car chases. Um, and the plot ticks over like you can't believe. I mean, finish this book in like two or three days. Um, you can order the hard case crime books from uh, Titan Books. Um, they are a very, very cool publisher. Um, they've got a lot of stuff um, that they bring out each year and uh, they're definitely worth a look. Um, Stephen King's even got a hard case crime uh, title with him, uh, titled Joyland, which I'll be reviewing soon as I haven't read it yet. Um, very very cool book um, fast paced action um, funny in parts uh, like you really feel for this main character <laughs> this guy goes through so much and uh, he's just basically you know running to catch up um, he sort of reminds me of a um, like a really how can I put it 
kind of Bruce Willis from Die Hard, but uh, not as clued up when it comes to you know, dealing with criminals, that kind of thing. Very, very cool read, and uh, there's a lot of books that, I think there's four, four or five, if I'm not mistaken. Just check one, two, three. I've got three more from John Lang, a.k.a. Michael Crichton, to read. So check this out. Very, very cool. Next up, a horror, um, Alexandra Sokolov's The Harrowing. Um, now here at the top, it says, Scream meets The Exorcist. Okay. I don't really agree with that. Um, reason being that Scream was... Scream is like a murder mystery, in my, in my point of view. All right? um, it's a murder mystery where you're constantly trying to figure out who the killer is. And yeah, it's a cool big surprise at the end kind of thing. There's a lot of uh, comedy moments. Um, um, you know, the whole phone call. What movie are you watching? Or what's your favorite scary movie? Or whatever the hell the guard says. Um, that's what Scream is to me. And this has got nothing of Scream in it. Um, if I had to compare it to to something. Um, kind of movies that that are quite recent um, I would say the Ouija movie that came out which was okay it was okay okay it's much better um, Ouija crossed with uh, I forgot the title now Eric Banner played the the cop um, who started investigating uh, people who were possessed the one dude who was possessed and paranormal happenings and stuff came out probably about a year and a half ago um, I can't remember the fucking title now. Uh, memory isn't what it used to be. But, yeah, you know, this is damn scary. Um, it doesn't have demon possession, which is interesting. Because a lot of horror books, um, or a lot of the horror books I've encountered where someone gets possessed are usually possessed by a demon. Um, even in movies, the possession is done by a demon. These aren't demons. Um, you'll be very surprised to find out what they are. Um, and it takes place in a school which is empty except for about four or five people. Um, and all of these people aren't really people that would get along, you know, in, in the normal kind of social um, environment. So there's already clashes, tension right from the beginning. And when things start kicking into high gear, when the Ouija part of the move of the book comes in, um, things get hectic. It's a very very cool read. Uh, Alexandra is a a screenwriter as well, so her stuff is is uh, succinctly um, uh, <sighs> forgot the word uh, in its imagery. It's succinct and it's it's very uh, impressive. Um, she conveys imagery in much fewer words than, than what you'd probably be used to. So you'll read this book very quickly. Um, you probably won't want to read it in the dark once you hit certain stages of the book, but go for it. I mean, you can't watch a scary movie with the lights out, with the lights on, can you? So read it at night. You'll enjoy it. And it is published by Piatkus. Alright. Last book. Mark Lawrence's Prince of Thorns. I don't think I need to say anything more about this or about Mark. Um, Mark's a magic guy, um, awesome father, and that's just what I've seen from Facebook. Um, Jorg, however, is not a nice guy. Um, Jorg is one of the coolest <laughs> protagonist antagonist mixes I've ever come across in fiction. Um, he went through something very, very hectic um, in his childhood, from which he basically gave himself the title Prince of Thorns. Um, it's quite bad. It's quite harrowing. Um, some readers might find this book a bit too much, certain scenes. Uh, but push through, you're not only going to get to know Jorg um, up to a certain stage in his life, uh, but you're going to get to know the guys who, his crew, that, you know, 
fight with him kind of thing. Um, you're going to get a glimpse of a world that will, in certain ways, echo our world and what we know. Um, you'll start seeing the, the similarities quite early on. Um, and this book will get you thinking, especially about main characters and uh, what kind of role a main character can play and how far you, how far authors can take a main character. Um, it's absolutely addictive. Um, it's the first in a trilogy. The whole entire trilogy is available. Uh, there's a couple of short stories that Mark has released um, uh, that tie into this tale um, and uh, feature Jorg as well and a couple of the other characters. Um, and Mark's already started with his second trilogy, which also in a way ties into this world. Um, give this a try. You will not be, you won't be sorry. It's very, very cool. First person, so you're in Jorg's head. It's not always a nice place to be, but like I said, he's a damn memorable character, um, and you will dig this book. All right, that's me for now. Um, I'll be back probably next week sometime, same time, um, with my next uh, reviews. Uh, when I've caught up to the kind of st the books that I'm reading now, um, the reviews will definitely become more in depth, and there will be less books. Um, but yeah, that's the first one, um, and I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I made you laugh a couple of times. If I didn't, I can't say I'll try harder next time because I don't really try to make people laugh. It just happens. Um, <laughs> all right, cheers. <laughs>